back to all of our club members and a special warm welcome to all of our new club members. My name is Kyla and I've got someone new in the chair next to me, but you may recognize this face and this raven hair. This is Megan Broberg. She accompanied me to Champagne. Very luckily, yes. So hello to all of our tour group members and a special hello to everyone I haven't met in the club. It was fun. So it was we've, amazing. We've just got back. We've literally fresh off the boat from Champagne. We did four beautiful Champagne tours where we take our clients over, mainly club members. You guys have first dibs on the Champagne tour, so don't forget that. It's part of your membership. Absolutely. Uh, get you behind the closed doors of Champagne. Megan was my co-host. You will see Megan popping up from time to time in the business. Not only is Megan co-hosting the tours, but she's also working within the business. You're a bit of a nerdy wine geek scientist background. Mm -hmm. Yes, started my life in advertising, but then took a detour into winemaking, studied wine science at Charles Sturt, did that for a bit, and then went back into advertising. And now I do a bit of both, a bit of wine, bit of ads, combining them both. A bit of drinking, bit, bit of, of drinking, advertising. A lot of drinking. And a lot of drinking whilst Sometimes advertising. tour host. Very versatile, mm -hmm. very versatile. So this episode is Megan and I put our heads together and said of all the amazing experiences we had during the Insiders Tour, what were two of our favorites? And let's choose two of the wines from that experience. Mm -hmm. So one of our favorite experiences was, was with uh, Champagne en Rio, which is an exceptional house with beautiful champagnes. Um, so we're presenting one of the en Rio champagnes to our lovers and everybody else this mm -hmm. month. And we had the most amazing dinner with Bilkar Samon. So we've selected Bilkar Samon for this month. We're gonna talk a little bit about the houses, but we're also gonna focus a little on gastronomy and champagne pairing. Exactly. Now, a lot of people in our country think champagne is an aperitif, but no, no, no. When you're on tour with us, you will drink champagne with every single course. There and is not a single thing that does not go with champagne. This is true, and it's a 10 a.m. to 10 a.m. type of pairing. It's an all day long pairing, but, but we really do focus on gastronomy when we're in champagne, and we're gonna give you some ideas for pairing, but we also wanna know what you think will go really well with these wines. Mm -hmm. One of the most beautiful experiences on the Champagne Tour is having the opportunity to visit Maison La Aulne Noire. Mm -hmm. One of the, the few remaining chateaus post World War I, because obviously Champagne was decimated by World War I and World War II. So beautiful chateau, which is now owned by the Henri Estate. Absolutely incredible. It has it, The whole building is heritage listed, but the most extraordinary thing in the main reception room is the wallpaper. The phrases in the wallpaper, mm -hmm. they're UNESCO heritage listed. They're depictions of Greek scenes and mythology. They're mm -hmm. so beautiful. This is it hexagon? I don't know. It's a, it's an unusual. I think so. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Take me back to grade one maths. Uh, yep. But beautiful <laughs> phrases on the wall and beautiful wines. Maison Henriot, founded in 1808, so really long history. Mm -hmm. Started with Apolline, a woman. A woman, and mm -hmm. she was a widow. And you know, we talk about the great widows of Champagne, Madame Clicquot, Madame Pomery. We don't often talk about Apolline. Yeah. And I think she's really important because... She's the youngest, I would say. She was one of the youngest. So 29 years of age when her husband passed away. And her influence in wine came from her uncle, who was a monk, that wrote one of the first viticultural papers. So one of the first winemaking books. First wine science book, really. Exactly. Yeah. So she was influenced by him, took over the Maison Henrio and created that beautiful, fresh, elegant style that Henrio still has today. Mm -hmm. And I think what's really interesting, Megan, is that we now have another woman who is the winemaker of the Maison. Who started her role at age 29. Which is an amazing mm -hmm. coincidence and has come full circle. So Alice Tetien, beautiful woman, talented winemaker. She's mm -hmm. only 32, masters of um, wine and terroir exceptional elegance in the bottle. How good are the wines from Henriot? I have to confess, I wasn't ex that familiar with Henriot before we went on this tour. Mm. And I, every time we got the, we had the pleasure of visiting these guys every single week, which we don't do with Quite unusual. Pretty, any other houses. And each week it was just a gift. It was an incredible experience. The house is amazing. We got the opportunity to taste both their non-vintage through to their vintage and uh, extended lees aging. Yeah, it is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful maison. 
So what are we drinking today, people? Mm -hmm. We have the Blanc de Blanc for all our new club members. White of whites. Megan calls it a blankety blank. Blankety blank. Blankety blank. <laughs> we like a little bit of Australian bastardization mm -hmm. of the wine names because let's be honest, it's very difficult for most people to pronounce the French names in the beautiful French way. Um, the Blanc de Blanc from Henriot. My God, is this a good wine. I love it. Every time I put my nose in this glass, it reminds me of why I love champagne. It's great. It is so, for a non-vintage wine, it is so complex, mm. so generous. Mm. And it's a little bit surprising. Like, you know, normally with a Blanc de Blanc, you're expecting more of that sort of linear acidity, that kind of really zingy lemon. And it definitely does have that, but it's more like a lemon sherbet. It's got the reserve wine complexity, which you don't get in a lot of standard Blanc de Blanc. So I, I, that's why I absolutely, like from the moment you first smell this wine, it is just, Overwhelming. Rich, yeah. complex, layered. So we've got 12 parcels of Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. We've got really generous reserves. It's a perpetual reserve. So every year yeah. they're adding a little bit of the fresh wine in, taking a little bit of the wine out. It, the, the reserve dates back to the 70s. So we've got yeah. some serious it's age. Incredible. We've got this real generosity, this real warmth, this honeysuckle, this sort of lemon curd, butter, brioche, cream, yeah. power. I, yeah, buttery brioche is definitely mm -hmm. what I would say is in this glass. And yeah, honey, generosity, like the, it's got a, a fullness on the palate that is not typical, again, of a Blonde de Blanc. It is a really, really delicious wine. It, you could have it as an aperitif. So let's talk about pairing. I mean, I like this particular champagne with a fish dish or with a creamy scallop dish. Mm -hmm. Definitely fish. Okay, but it's got some versatility. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think because of that reserve, it does allow it to be paired with maybe even heavier kind of dishes because it's got or a bit more robustness. Yep, yep, like a roast chicken. I definitely think it could stand up with a roast chicken. Great. Mm. We'd like to know what you're gonna pair it with at home. Absolutely, experiment. Another one of our favorite experiences mm. on the Insiders Tour was spending some time with the inimitable Antoine Roland Bilcar. You know what I love about all of our champagne experiences and everything mm -hmm. that we do on the tour? I mean, we've got two rules. One of them is, well, really three rules. We don't do anything that's open to the public, so everything's behind closed doors. Nothing that you could, you know, walk into as a tourist closed of the region. only. Correct. Two, we meet with the ambassadors or the heirs of the empire or the winemaker. And three, we have a gastronomic focus. So we don't just go in and do a tasting and a tour. We do a long lunch or a banging dinner. Mm -hmm. I should have said black tie dinner, but banging dinner will do because <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty amazing. Um, Antoine has this personality, this kind of worldliness to him. Yep. He's a funny guy. And a love of Australia and Australians, which definitely does help. <laughs> it definitely gets our adds sense to of humour. Well, he did say during dinner, no wuckers, mate. So I do <laughs> think he has a little bit of an understanding of the Australian sensibility. I and agree. And it doesn't hurt that we are the number two customers for this brand. This is true. We and drink a lot. Bilkal Salmon is, is a big brand in Australia. Note my pronunciation. So in Australia, we call it Billy Cart Salmon. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Some houses are really particular about about how you pronounce their name. Antoine's like, if you're drinking it, I'm happy. So Bilcar mm -hmm. Samon is the correct pronunciation. We start at the Maison with Nicolas Francois Bilcar and the beautiful Elizabeth Samon. And they were married and they started the house in 1818. So just 10 years behind Henriot actually. Yep. This is very similar time. Um, and we've got a, a generation to generation to generation being handed down. Yeah, so still 100% family owned. Still, the family lives on the site of the winery with the 100 year old father of yes. Antoine and his mother, who still whizzes around town in oh, her car. Hilarious. In fact, she came whizzing in when we were there for our visit. I know, I think she's 98 or something yeah, similar. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. She <laughs> still crazy. drives like a bat out of hell mm -hmm. <laughs> and still drinks a glass of champagne every day this is good for your health people which is what us. i was actually thinking about so obviously champagne is the key to longevity because his parents are 198 years old so He's not 198 sorry 100 and 98 separately <laughs> but if it could possibly extend our lives to nearly 200 i will continue to drink champagne and i'm happy to forego my botox for a bottle of champagne any day of the week mm -hmm. now 
We have an amazing house. We wanted to do something different for you. A lot of you have had the Brut Reserve, the iconic Brut Reserve of the Bilkar Salmon. So what we're doing is giving that a little twist this month mm -hmm. for all of our connoisseurs and we're introducing something different. You may not recognize the green label on this bottle, but Megan, it is a demi sec. Now hold on, don't get all up, you know, it's, yes, <laughs> it's a sweet wine. Yes, we normally export sweet wines to the Americans, right? <laughs> but there can be delicacy and finesse in a sweet wine and it does serve a purpose when you're pairing this th with food. And as we mentioned earlier, throughout every, every course that we eat in while we're in Champagne, we pair it with a champagne. So it does serve a purpose in lots of different capacities from pairing with pastries through to pairing with dessert and a few other little wild and crazy things that you can do with it as well. Exactly right. So please put what you think about demi sec or Swedish champagnes to one side for mm -hmm. a minute because demi sec champagne can be actually really interesting yep. gastronomically in terms of pairing. So in terms of the composition of the wine, we have the exact composition of the brut. So we've got 40% Chardonnay, sorry, 30% Chardonnay, 30% Pinot Noir, and 40% Pinot Meunier, mm -hmm. which is you know a preferred grape varietal to the yep. Bilcar estate, the Bilcar family. So we have the same base composition, but now we have a 40 gram dosage. This makes things interesting for mm -hmm. pairing. Okay, so we've got two ways of food pairing, Megan. We can either compare or we can contrast. Contrast, exactly. Contrasting is way more technical and it's more yeah. difficult. It's hard, yeah. But I think it's more interesting as well. I think so as well. So if we compare, I mean, I if you, let's go like for like. So take the aroma, the weight, the flavour of the wine. Mm -hmm. You could partner something this something of this calibre, the demi sec, with for me classic Australian pavlova with some cream and some mm -hmm. strawberries or a flan or a dessert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely any. I think any sort of pastry cake sort of based dessert. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, again, pastries. So you're having a champagne breakfast or a champagne brunch. I think, you know, mm. I'm loath to say this is a great breakfast wine, but it kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> 10 o'clock, uh, Saturday, nine. Sunday. Who knows? <laughs> I think that's, you know, it, it, and it does, it does lend itself towards like a beautiful brioche, apricot pastry, like Danish. any Danish, any kind of Danish, it would be superb with. And that, you know, and that's the thing, it's matching the sweetness with the sweetness. But before you even pair it with some food though, I think it's important to taste this wine because even though, yes, it is 40 grams residual sugar, I wouldn't necessarily pick that, no. right? It is so balanced, I, there's still yeah. some minerality, there's still some freshness. Exactly. It's exactly. not cloying on the palate. What we want you to do this month, and we are imploring you, and we are going to put a little incentive yes. for you. We want you to create a pairing with this dish, and we want you to take the challenge of contrast, mm -hmm. should you accept our challenge. Now, if we're contrasting, we're taking the richness of the wine, the sweetness of the wine, and we're contrasting it. Now, for me, and we've both got different perspectives mm -hmm. on food, I would love this dish with some a foie gras, mm -hmm. a little bit of foie gras or a pate or something with some sweetness, some richness, some fatty texture. A blue cheese. A blue would cheese. Would be an excellent one with it. Now, Absolutely. I kind of feel like we could even go in a little bit of a wild and different direction. Sweet wines pair really well with spicy food. I think you could try this because in this particular type of cuisine, it can both compare and contrast. Thai food actually uses a lot of sugar in its base, um, but it also uses a lot of spice. So you, I want you to try and pair this with things like a spicy pad thai, uh, anything in that kind of space and see what you think and let us know, let us know what you think. So we have come to the end of our tasting, Megan, and the end of our time in France. I know, if you're wondering why we're wearing black, we are in mourning for the trip that was. Amazing, and if you haven't done the tour yet, and maybe if you have already, you might want to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Join Megan and I next year. We are currently doing interviews and taking submissions for next year's mm -hmm. tours 2024. We're about 50 to 60% full at the moment, so send an inquiry to us either directly via email or via the website. Mm -hmm. We hope that you enjoyed the wines of this month, the Henri Blanc de Blanc, which is amazing, the Bilcar, Demi Sec, which is a beautiful wine. Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, I actually would love to hear your feedback on this because obviously, you know, they couldn't be more opposite, but also Agreed. beautiful 
balanced wines with finesse. So I'm really interested to hear people's feedback and whether or not we maybe even change your your mind with this one. I I'd love to know that too. Mm. So we're incentivizing you, club mm -hmm. members. Now, what we want you to do, obviously we post the video every month on our YouTube page. You need to head to our YouTube page. You need to subscribe, mm -hmm. you need to like the video and you need to leave your food pairing and you are going into the draw to win a beautiful gift box gifted by Mr. Bill Carr from Bill mm -hmm. Carr Salmon, a custom ice bucket, a beautiful bottle of Brut Reserve, and that will be coming your way if you like, subscribe, and comment, comment before the 30th of September. So plenty of time to be experimenting and pairing to win. Thank you very much for joining us this month. Um, thank you, Megan, for co-hosting the tour and the video. And we will see you in another episode or in person at one of our events very soon. Can't wait. Just don't look at my messages, babe. No, I was just asking. <laughs> yeah, maybe lock the phone. On. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Beep. I don't think so. It's a sexy motherfucker. Mm -mm. This is not AMSR. Oh. <laughs> That's what we should do. We should do a special club version. <laughs> An X-rated version. A different kind of club. Honestly, it's a Welcome back to all of our fuck. Let's go again. Three, two, one, and action. Welcome back to all of our Champagne Club members and a big welcome. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a long one.